In this video, I'm going to take a look at two Hall Effect joystick kits for the DualSense controllers. Both are available on Amazon as I make this video. The first is a two joystick kit and is sold by GG Zone and shipped by Amazon. Goes for $11 and that can include free shipping, so I don't think that's a bad deal. The second kit is sold by Thompson and shipped by Amazon. It sells for $18 and again that can include free shipping. I feel this is a really good price for this kit as it includes four Hall Effect joysticks, four thumb knobs, a few tools and a couple of other miscellaneous items. The joysticks and the knobs are the important parts here. I'm doing these two kits together because the joystick modules in each of these kits are very similar. But there does appear to be a slight difference and a difference that is worth pointing out. The joysticks are made by Genful. I'm not sure how it should be pronounced, but I'm going to go with that. So this is the same manufacturer of the first Hall Effect joysticks I tried and tested. It turned out the timing parameter that caused those first Hall Effect joysticks to feel so smooth was the time it took for the output voltage to change from one level to another, specifically the time it took for the sensor output to move from near 1.8 volts to close to zero volts as the slew rate is very asymmetric on that version of the Gen Full joysticks. It turns out there is a pretty easy method to get a good idea of that timing by using the joystick's own spring tension to return it to its center position. Turns out to be a lot faster than I can move the joystick by hand. I'm going to let the scope measure the rise and fall times. It will be more consistent than me moving cursors and it will be faster. Going to start here with the fall times and here is the reference a favor union potentiometer joystick. This is the left right axis. Can see it is just under one millisecond. Doing it five or six times seems to yield times between 800 and 900 microseconds. It's pretty consistent. This is the up down axis and it does seem the up down axis return time is 100 microseconds or so faster than the left right axis and it also is quite consistent. These fall times are almost entirely the mechanical time it takes for the joystick to move from edge to center. It is a bit faster than I was expecting. First up is the two joystick kit from GG Zone. This was the fastest sensor of the four, a little under 15 milliseconds. And this was the slowest, a little over 19 milliseconds. The other two were right around the 18 millisecond time frame. Now the joysticks from the Thompson kit, they all measured under 16 milliseconds. So the slowest of this bunch was similar to the fastest in the GG Zone kit. It's not but a few milliseconds difference, but this is getting very close to the time it takes to physically move the joystick. So just a few milliseconds here could have quite a bit of impact on how these react. This fall time corresponds to the dual senses right to left or down to up movement. And as we'll see in just a bit, these hall sensors still have an asymmetric output. So here's the rise time of the joysticks. This corresponds to the dual senses left to right or up to down movement. And all of them seem to fall in the 8 to 9 millisecond range. So about twice the speed of the fall time. So this is what I mean by asymmetric output. One direction's response time is much faster or slower than the opposite direction. Now I'll try and get an idea of the delay time of the stick moving till the output starts to change. I'm going to mount it in my test jig. The left joystick is a regular potentiometer based stick and the right joystick is one of the Hall Effect sticks from the GG Zone kit. I'll try and get the joystick shafts touching the cam as evenly as possible. I'll use a drill to drive the cam. Channel 1, the yellow trace, is the Hall joystick and channel 2, the green trace, is the potentiometer joystick. I'll position the cursor in about the middle of the peaks. So around 4 milliseconds, not bad. Let me reverse the drill and see what I get. Peak to peak here again, maybe a bit more but hard to tell. Movement to output change probably somewhere around the 4 to 5 millisecond range. Now one of the joysticks from the Thompson kit. I'll move one of the traces to get a better view to position the cursors. I think it's about the same, 4 to 5 milliseconds. Maybe a bit more delay, 
but that could be just sensor to sensor differences. Close enough, I'll call them the same. On the left is the GG Zone kit joystick, and on the right is the Thompson kit joystick. Both have a red PC board with black writing showing through the sensor housing. The one on the left has L-4A printed on it, and the one on the right has L-4B printed on it. But I picked this one specifically from the Thompson kit. Most of the sensors in the Thompson kit have L-4A printed on them. Externally, they look identical to the joysticks in the GG Zone kit. But if I look inside one of the sensors from the GG Zone kit, the Hall sensor is labeled 93L41. All the sensors in the GG Zone kit have 93L41 labeled ICs in them and L-4A printed on the PC board. Here is the inside of a sensor from the Thompson kit. The Hall sensor IC is labeled 93L43. Unfortunately, it also has L-4A printed on the PC board, so that really makes it hard to tell what you are getting. But all the ICs in the Thompson kit are labeled 93L43, no matter the printing on the PC board, and there are noticeable electrical differences between the two types of sensor. But what matters is do they work in a DualSense controller? The left stick is a joystick from the Thompson kit, and the right stick is from the GG Zone kit. There's been no calibration. This is the joysticks in the RAW. can see they are both off a bit, down and to the right, but really not that bad. And here is the pre-calibration circularity. I'll do the calibration using the DualShock calibration webpage. Links will be in the video description. And here are the results. Centering is good. The right stick is a bit soft in returning to dead center, but I've had that with different brands of joysticks. Circularity is not great with the left stick, and I don't think mechanically adjusting where the magnet is setting will do much for it. The right stick is great. I think that is the lowest I've ever seen. It does seem to be shifted in the up-down direction, so moving the up-down axis magnet a tiny bit might improve this one even more. Though it's so good, I don't think I'll touch it, at least not until I've got a few hours use on it. I haven't had a lot of time to use the controller, but with the time I have spent using it, I really can't tell a difference between the left and right sticks. But I don't think they feel quite like a potentiometer-based joystick. If you are looking for that, I would say go with the K-Silver ones. If circularity is important to you, then I think the GG Zone kit is the way to go. I doubt all of them will calibrate to 3%, but from the readings I got, they will be better than the ones in the Thompson kit. And you may want to wait a bit. I was sent a AliExpress link for what appears to be an even later version of these, so I ordered a set. Of course, by the time I get them, they may be available on Amazon or eBay. Stay tuned, and thank you for watching.